Hey you, yeah you, welcome to the top 5 things to do in Peru that is not Machu Picchu. Welcome to another YouTube video guys and if you guys are new here my name is Tony and I am a travel filmmaker and vlogger from Canada. So right before the pandemic hit I was lucky enough to take a trip over to Peru where I got to live, breathe, eat and travel within the Peruvian community. And man oh man was this place magical and it should be on everybody's bucket list. And without further ado guys coming in at no particular order number five is Humante Lake a beautiful emerald lake that is characterized by its imposing glaciers. And similar to many parts of Southeast Asia Cusco has many travel agents within the city. So if you want to book a trip to Humante Lake, just Google different travel agents, head over to their store and see if you can book a trip with them. And generally guys, in my experience, be sure to bargain on the price as different travel agents offer different prices. So if you tell one travel agent, I got it for this price, can you do any better? Generally, they'll be able to give you a cheaper price. So once you get picked up by the company in Cusco, you'll head on a three hour journey to get to the trailhead where then you'll spend about 1.5 to two hours hiking, depending on on your fitness levels and how well adapted you are to the altitude there. Now if you're not into tourists, this trip is definitely possible without a big group of people. So what we did was we actually hired an Uber driver to take us to a restaurant the previous night and we actually hired him for the next day to take us to Humante Lake. The reason we did this was because we actually needed to be dropped off in another town to then transit to Machu Picchu. So it was well worth the money and we got to do this on our own. We got a private car and it was really cheap. It was about $90 US for the two of us. So $40 five dollars each person it was a great way to experience human tail lake without being in a large tour group now one thing that was super cool about this place is there are these luxury dome tents that you guys can stay at now it's not the cheapest thing to do as it does cost around 140 dollars us per night but you get this stunning view from your dome tent and you get to wake up early to try to do the hike for sunrise and potentially beat all the crowds that end up at this place later on in the afternoon. So it's something that is well worth thinking about. Now if you think you're gonna struggle with the hike, there's actually options to take a horse to porter you up to the very top of the mountain and I'm not really sure on the cost of this as I'm quite opposed to using animals for profit in the tourism industry but that is an option if you have an injury or if you're gonna struggle due to the altitude of the hike there is that option for you to take up the horse. And next on the list guys, coming in at number four is Huacachina, this beautiful oasis located in the vast sand dunes of Peru. Now I'm sure you guys have seen these famous pictures on Instagram of this beautiful oasis just like this 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 and this and the hype is real guys this place is so beautiful and it was just very different from anything i've seen before so moving on to accommodation a great place that i recommend you guys stay at is called the banana adventure hostel now this hostel is way more expensive than any other hostels i've ever paid for it came to about 60 dollars us for two nights there but for each night that you're there there is an excursion included some of the options are the Bellstas island tour where you get to go on a speedboat to this island and then you get to see a bunch of different marine life you can also for the social and barbecue night at the hostel or you can book a dude buggy and sandboarding tour on the sand dunes they take you up to these peaks and they let you ride down on sandboards to get down and they also take you to a wonderful spot where you can watch the sunset it was really amazing so i recommend you guys stay here and now if your day adventure didn't tire you out too much be sure to head over to the wild rover hostel for some drinks a good night and to be surrounded by a fun party vibe i had so much fun here the people are so friendly so i don't recommend you guys stay here because you won't get any sleep the party goes throughout all hours of the night but overall it was an amazing time so I recommend you guys check this out after your day adventure so coming in number three is going paragliding over Lima Peru now we weren't actually planning on doing this in Lima because we tried to do it a week prior in Colombia in Medellin where we were supposed to go paragliding over the Havalas in Medellin but due to rain and fog we had to cancel our paragliding trip so we stumbled upon it in Lima we knew we had to do it now it is quite expensive it's about $80 US per person for I think about 20 minutes of flight time but you do get a video recorded of you in flight and you also get insurance included in this price so it was well worth it we got to go out into the ocean we got to go over skyscrapers it was beautiful and it was a great way to see Lima Peru so in order for you guys to do this you're gonna want to head down to Costa Verde this beautiful coastline that is well known in Lima and you'll find a booth there where you can pay for this excursion but it's absolutely amazing guys and it's something I recommend you guys do so before we move on to number two guys 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy content like this please 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 like the video subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you do not want to miss another video all right guys enough of this let's move on to number two
And number two on the list, guys, is a little town called Olay to Tambo. Now, if you're going to Machu Picchu, you're going to have to transit here anyways to catch the train. Olay to Tambo is a beautiful little town with such a great charm to it. It's highlighted by its cobblestone pass. There's barely any traffic that comes through it. It's mainly mostly foot traffic. You have little markets. And you also have a list of activities that you can do. So if you want to do some of these activities, be sure to hop on to Google and check out some of these free ruins and some ruins that you do have to pay for, but you do get a stunning view of the town below and you get a stunning view of the Andes that's surrounding this little town. So something that I really recommend you guys do is try to plan your trip to Peru around this festival called Corpus Christi. It happens every year and we didn't actually know about this until we were in Peru and we were in Cusco and we're like, wow, there's a big parade happening. So I Googled it and it turned out to be a annual festival that they host every year in Peru. And it was amazing guys in this little town, Old Lake Tatambo, we got to do a bunch of different cool experience from dancing with the locals, had marching bands literally marching around the street throughout all hours of the night. I think I woke up around 6 a.m. and they were still marching around playing these drums playing these trumpets It was super cool and it was a once-in-a-lifetime Opportunity to immerse yourself in the Peruvian culture So something that I really recommend you guys do is to book it around this festival Corpus Christi and lastly guys moving on to number one is the salt mines of Moran. This is an intriguing site that you should not miss it dates back to ancient times and was actually created by the Incas So you'll be greeted with a dizzying array of white irregular rectangles that contains pools of water and salt so so the pools were developed in a way where they contain an intricate network of channels where water would run off from a higher level onto the next pool onto the next pool and then the water would evaporate and that leaves the salt behind for the locals to scrape out and then package and resell. So enjoy your day out, check out the salt shops and take in the views of the salt mines of Morass. This place is beautiful. And that's it for today guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, please be sure to like, subscribe and throw a comment in there and even flick on the notification bell if you do not want to miss another video. But until next time guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.